All right. So this one might be based off of an unpopular opinion. Uh, but I'm here because I'm still a small streamer. Tried this for a couple of years now. Stopped streaming out of frustration. Job changed all that stuff a year and a half ago. Came back to it. And I can tell you, and this is going to sound really, really weird. Well, it might not sound weird to some of you, but as a streamer, as a content creator, your success and your growth is going to come from the effort that you put in, the level of effort that you put into what you're trying to do. If you're creating content, are you posting content? Are you streaming? Are you engaging with those that actually engage with your content? Meaning comments, tweets, good, bad, ugly, all of the above. This will get you further than any streamer or content creator out there giving a shout out to your channels, rating you periodically um, for people to come in and show their support. Say, hey, I like this streamer, let's come in and show them some love, all this other stuff. That's great. That's a boost to the content creator that's trying to come up, that's trying to learn and everything. It's a good moral morale booster. When somebody raids me or gives me a shout out, I think appreciative and I feel very, very blessed to have somebody that would think that highly of me enough to, to say, hey, yeah, I'm going to endorse them, give them a shout out as a content creator because I think they're worthwhile. That said, that is not going to equate to a large scale number of followers or subscribers. If you're on Twitch, it's a sub follower. If you're on YouTube, it's a subscriber. Um, if you're on Twitter, it's a follower. I've been raided a few times, I've been blessed to be raided by a few bigger raiders and some smaller raiders in various sizes, and now I pick up a couple of followers or a couple of subscribers from those raids or from those shoutouts. However, many times those subscribers or followers, because they are there in the community of the raider that came and raided me, they're there for him or her or them, and the personality and the content style that they do when they come back and they see my channel the next day or a week later, they're like going, who is this person? Do they remember who I am? They're like, I don't know why I followed them. I'm just going to unfollow. So you might pick up like say you get raided. Somebody raids you with 500 people. You pick up 15 followers. You don't really pick up a ton of followers unless it's something that's really hot one night and you luck out. Um, but are those followers, what the, what's the retention rate? And do they come back and, and watch your content? Um, that's that's the other big thing. So I've seen a lot of that. And over the last week and a half, I've been really focused and blessed. I was talking to, again, uh, a couple of creators that have been have met with success, getting some advice from them. I'm going to give a shout out to, to CB big time on this one. Um, and it's true. You have to put roll up your sleeves and put the elbow grease work in and everything else to get to where you want to go. And I say that because... I've had my Twitter account for, I don't know, a long, 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 long time. I got 1,617 follows, 617 followers. Not a ton, okay? Not a little, but not not overly a ton either. Um, and I know there's a lot of drama going on on Twitter, so I'm not going to hang out in there too much. But it takes time to grow on that one. Even if you're constantly interacting with people on Twitter, it's, it's, it's a slow go, right? And then I look at my Twitch account, which is where I've done the majority of my streaming. Mixer failed, so we moved over to, to Twitch. And I was growing decently, and I've been streaming and everything else. I get okay views, not a ton, but I only have 445 followers. And it's partly because I hadn't been consistent in what I was streaming. I hadn't been um, enough out there to, to have all that. So my while well, my followers are kind of growing... It's not super fast. Now, I also need to do some other things like a trailer and stuff. But, again, this is on me. How much am I streaming on Twitch? How much am I? Then I started really focusing on my YouTube and talking to CB. I needed to find something that fit my personality. I needed to find something I could talk about, something I could engage on. Because there's a lot of technology now that the COVID and the technology, technology apocalypse have passed and all this other stuff. I've got more things that I get to do. But I've also talking about different aspects of each type of game that I play. And so I started mapping out a series of videos that I'm doing, right? <clears throat> and it's from the content that I posted, the questions that I've asked, 
that I have seen the most growth because I'm not only doing shorts, not only am I doing content, but I'm also using the community tab, which is fantastic. And I'm talking to people, interacting with those people, leaving comments, good and bad and everything else. And because of that, I have seen more growth from that work, from that effort, than I have anything else. Not from raids, not from shout outs, nothing like that. Let me know in the comments below what you think the best courses are that you've had for succeeding as a small streamer, what your biggest challenges are, and what some of the biggest misconceptions are. I'm going to do another video on this one. I've been doing short videos, getting information gathered like the streamers versus communities, what can I do as a streamer to grow kind of a thing, and now I'm doing one versus content creation versus being rated by a streamer. So let me know. I'm really curious down there. Hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, helps me out, uh, and lets you know when I have all those. And leave the comments. Most importantly, leave me some comments, leave me some feedback so we can have the dialogue. If we can get enough dialogue on this one, let me do another video on it, and we can have something that might be more meaningful and more defining that actually might help those coming into content creation in this day and age try to succeed, especially when we're seeing a decline in content creators, a decline in people, a higher uptick in the number of content creators just quitting because they can't understand, can't get ahead, can't succeed, or any of that other stuff. So comments below, let me know. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, there's other things that contribute into it and not setting false expectations, but planning your work and working your plan. But I, I specifically wanted to talk about the maybe unpopular opinion where getting rated by a streamer or content creator is not always the best thing and does not equate to subscriptions, um, subscribers, followers, all the above. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Y'all are great. Have a great day. If you're looking around for me, I'll be on YouTube streaming later tonight. Um, God of War. I'm in love with the game. God of War Ragnarok is freaking awesome. I'll be playing that for quite a while, and I'll probably hop over to Twitch, do some streaming over there. But yeah, it's awesome. Anyways. Catch you guys in stream uh, or in Discord, DMs, Twitter, wherever else. Comments, please be safe. I'll see y'all later.